72 years ago. These courageous young people with some dynamic uh, elders around them said no to entering the back door to receive that diploma. And that was after initially they just said you can't come in because of the color of your skin. A taxpayer building and they were taxpayers but they were not permitted to enter. And then as a to try to throw them a bone they said well you can come in through the side door. At some point you have to have backbone. I have to have backbone. At yes. some point, you have to say hell no to the back door. Yep. Did you hear what I said? Yep. If we're going to be uh, stand in their, in their stead today and, and forever, we have to have some of that in us. We have to stand for something or we'll fall for anything. Yes. Amen. So we're grateful, we're thankful, again, for Mr. Sonny Holmes and others who placed the marker there and is on the register, it's with the Smithsonian, and we had a wonderful gathering. And as a novice historian from the state of Alabama whose family members participated in the Selma to Montgomery march, they placed a marker in Selma, but also one in Montgomery, because they started in Selma and went to Montgomery. Are you hearing me? Yeah. They started at Walker Grant, they went somewhere. <laughs> what was that somewhere they went to? I can't hear you. Shallow old sight. Yeah, give Shallow old sight a hand. Give Dr. Hester a hand. And give yourselves a hand for being out here today. Stories are powerful. Uh, Dr. Hunt and I make our living by telling stories that come from a book. Stories that we believe are still relevant in 2022. Stories are powerful. You have your own stories. Uh, the Bible and other books are wonderful. But unless you add your chapters to it, and today, Fredericksburg, you added some chapters. You remember. It's one of the things that Scripture talks about over and over again. Don't forget. Remember. Don't forget. Remember. And you add your chapter. You add your piece to that. Okay? And so you've done that today. This is our first annual march on the first Saturday in June. Rain, shine, sleet, or snow. We want to continue to tell this story. And ultimately, it is our goal that by this time next year and before, there will be a marker right about where Brother Anthony is sitting uh, and somewhere there to commemorate that event on this end of the march. All right, let's give a hand for the future. A march was held in Washington, D.C. It made news all over the universe. A huge crowd marched, and many were diverse. In June 1950, a march was held with an entirely different clientele. Now, 50 miles south of the D.C. line in Fredericksburg, Virginia this time, there was a city high school, Walker Grant, with a senior class, which was adamant seeking to hold their commencement program in a place where there, would be, where there would not be a jam. Now the city community center was the place that they wanted to enter for the space at Walker Grant way back then was too small for families to attend. So they contacted the proper town folk, made a reservation. This is no joke, but because of the color of their skin, they couldn't use the front door to walk in. Now, that didn't sit well with, the, with them at all. They did not feel like that was the right call. They could get their diplomas in the street. Using the side door would be a defeat. So
So they held a demonstration outside, dressed in caps and gowns, and so full of pride. According to the Freelance Star that day, 300 folks watched as they walked away. Then they marched down to shallow Old Site Church by the Rappahannock River to perch. They held their commencement program inside, marching down the aisle, smiling, full of pride. In February 2022, the city did something long overdue. Yeah. They honored these brave students of the past courageous action recognized at last and this is from Frank White and he is a 1957 Great graduate of Walker Frank White. As a novice historian I was struck by the fact that this was 1950 72 years ago slavery on paper had not ended even a hundred years but de facto slavery continued and in many ways it still continues it still continues when people try to disenfranchise persons from voting just because of the color of their skin or their zip code. That's a, that's a continuation of what my daddy and my uncles and other family members in Selma and that, and that part of Alabama fought for. And so there are people who are trying to turn the clock back. But we won't let that happen, will we? I said we won't let that happen, will we? And so we have to keep telling stories so that Kylan and the other children can understand how important it is uh, to stand up for human dignity everywhere, to stand up for people who cannot stand up for themselves, to stand up for people who cannot speak for themselves. It's our responsibility. Everybody has privilege, and you're supposed to use your privilege to assist, to lift, to bring up somebody else. God, we thank you for the men and women we come to honor and remember today. Yes. And we thank you for their parents and grandparents who taught them to the difference between right and wrong and how to do right. And I pray God that you'll help us always to be people of God, to walk together, to love one another, and to make a better community where everyone Everyone stands together. Yes. We thank you, God, for this circle we've created today and ask that you be with us and go with us as we walk together and greet those who stood here many years ago. In Christ's name, amen. amen.